So, the Smart Series from Infinix Mobile has received another addition and that is the Infinix Smart 5. The Smart Series from Infinix Mobile are more of entry level devices and let's say a project from the device as well. In the previous years, we've seen the Infinix Smart 4, the Smart 3, the Smart 2 HD and more. Infinix also launched the Infinix Smart 4 Plus in other countries, this year like India. Anyways, we do not have the Infinix Smart 4 Plus in Nigeria, but I was thinking we are going to have that, but Infinix jumped to Infinix Smart 5. So guys, this is my Infinix Smart 5 unboxing and review video. Make sure you watch this video to the end to know everything about this new, beautifully crafted smartphone. But you know the drill guys, before we get to it, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done that. And you can give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment because that truly really means a lot to me. And you can also share this video to your friends. So guys, let's try it out. The first thing we're working with is the Infinix Smart 5 phone itself. And on the seal on the display of the device, we can see some of the listed specifications about the Infinix Smart 5. It has a 2GB gram and also it has 2GB internal storage. It has a 5000mAh 4 day battery life. It has a 6.6 .6 HD plus water sunlight display, an 8 megapixel selfie camera, and also it has the fingerprint and also the face ID feature. Checking at the back of the device, we have a triple camera setup and also a quad flashlight for night selfies. Let's set this aside first and let's see what we got in the box more. We have a customer service card from Infinix. Going more into the box, we have the SIM and the SD card ejector tool. Going more into the box, we have the wall socket adapter. This doesn't support fast charging at all. And going more into the box, we have the USB type, oh sorry, a micro USB 2.0 to transfer and also to charge the device. Going more into the box, we have the earphone for the Infinix Smart 5. A card from X Club by Infinix is also in the box and Infinix added a protective thing for the display and lastly in the box we have a protective casing this looks really nice in hand so let's fix it and let's see what we got wow it really fits the device and all the cutouts for the power button and also for the micro usb port and the charging everything has been cut out already and i thought it has this infinite branding which makes the device looks really nice and the color of the device which i have here with me is called the quitzer cyan so that is all in the box of so let's pull out the stickers on the front of the device and also let's pull out the sticker at the back of the device and let's set it up wow I love the design of this Infinix Smart 5 casing. It looks really enticing and it looks really, really charming to the eye. And it has this gradient feel and a sort of prismium or what can I call this? So, during the course of using this smartphone for a week now, my conclusion on this device is <laughs> wait to the end to know that. Let's talk about the design. The design of the Smart 5 phone is looking dashing especially with the design and the gradient feel on the back of the device. It is made from a polycarbonate material and it looks well crafted. On the front, there is a 6.6 inch display with a water drop cutout for the 8 megapixel front camera. At the top of the device, there is a dual flashlight which is meant for enhancing the nice surface you take, though the left front light serves as a charging notification light. The device has thin bezels though, the chain on the device looks big. The size of the device houses the SD card slot and the power button and beneath the device, there you have your charging port, the speaker, the headphone port, nothing special, just like the normal devices from Infinix. And at the back, you have a triple like camera setup aligned vertically. I said triple like because while looking at it, it looks like a triple camera module, but it's just two. The third one is the QVGA module. Also on the back is a super fast fingerprint sensor. The display of the Smart 5 is a 6.6 inch HD display with a 720 by 1600 resolution and a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. The display is an IPS type display and if you want you can hide the not cut out area at the top of the device or switch back to enjoy the beautiful look. 
The display is responsive to touches and the dark mode is very nice on it as well. Playing movies at 720p resolution is the highest and it looks well detailed and sharp and crispy. Talking about the camera experience of the Smart 5, if you want to get the best performance on this camera then you should be taking your pictures in a well lit environment. Night selfies or night pictures isn't the best on this device as it looks grainy or unreal. But taking pictures where the light conditions are well balanced and lit, you'd get the best result for this camera megapixels. Check out some of the pictures I took on this smartphone. The performance on this device is not something you should expect to be high end or spectacular. There's a 2GB RAM and a 32GB ROM on this device, more like what we've seen on the Infinite Smart 4. A slight upgrade at this price would have been nice, but you know, we are talking about an entry level device here. There are Bluetooth on this device as usual, so technically you have like 24GB storage, not exactly 32GB. There's a MediaTek processor on this device with 4 cores at 1.3GHz speed. Playing normal games that doesn't require any special type of graphics is quite promising considering that this device is an entry level device. But while running multiple apps, if you'd notice some lags and when switching from apps to apps, it might take a second to switch fully. And sometimes the device might restart the apps when you switch. That's what you get from a 2 gram device. You don't want to bombard the device with too much apps. The speaker on the device isn't giving the best sound. The buzz isn't there, but for the money you are paying for this device, I cannot complain. The device is equipped with Android 10.0 right from the box, and later on, I cannot tell if there's going to be an upgrade. There's a 5000mAh battery cap on this device, and it is the best part of the device. A single charge can last you up to days with good usage. Though the charging speed is quite slow, it might take you exactly 1 hour 40 minutes to charge from 0 to 100%. The price for the Infinite Smart 5 is starting at 39,000 Naira, equivalent of 100 USD. And this is a fair price compared to the space you get on this device, and the device is available across all stores in the country. In my own personal opinion, the device is worth the money as an entry level device, it is cool enough, and the money you are paying isn't too bad as well but do not expect an extraordinary performance on this device so guys that is my unboxing and also my review video for the infinite smart 5 do let me know what you think about this device in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one peace